My name is Ted Kolokevich and this is Brand New Brand Review, a little series where I take new brands that have been revealed and I give you my thoughts and feedback on it. Also at the end, I'm going to take my pass at a redesign and just see what I can improve with this brand. So stick around for that, but let's just jump right into it. So today we're going to be covering Ninja's rebrand. And for those of you who don't know, Ninja is a popular uh, game streamer. He primarily streams Fortnite and he rose to fame in the 2018s, 2019s. He has 70 plus million subscribers and followers and he's a cultural phenomenon. And for the longest time, he worked under one brand, which I'll show you right now. And now they've revealed a new rebrand, a redesign that has been complete by this agency, Eat. And today I just wanna to talk through some of the issues that I see with this rebrand, things that I like, and I'm gonna rate it on the metric system that we've set up, which I'll show you in a second. Before we discuss the new brand, I wanna look at the old brand, get us familiar with it, and just see what was working with this one, the pros and cons of the logo and the brand, and then we'll critique the new stuff. So the existing branding here, we have the logo mark, which is a silhouette kind of shape of a ninja, and then it has the crazy hair, which ninja always dyes his hair blue or different colors, and he has this kind of crazy hair. The type is uh, this kind of combination customized logo type and here is some of the branding. So we have the blue, the yellow accents, we have these bold fonts throughout, uh, subtle textures and overall it's a good, it's a good brand. Um, there are little issues that I have with it, let's just start with the logo first. So one thing with the logo, it's definitely geared towards the younger audience being kind of a playful mark. It looks like something that could be on a toy packaging. Um, one issue with the, the, the logo here is there's a lot of sharp corners and then this like weird nose texture is like rounded. Um, so that thing kind of stands out to me and I'm curious why the, the nose shape looks like that. Uh, the other issue is the, just the composition of the type here. So the J cuts over the end and then the A has the kind of this weird loop. So I think that could have been executed better with proper spacing, maybe just make it nice and sharp type with these similar things, but put the J beside the N instead of cutting it through. And then the blue color itself, it feels a little heavy, a little dark. I would make something a little bit more bright for the overall color palette. Now some pros for the logo. I think the mark itself and the type is memorable. So it is a memorable mark. I feel like something that you would see and remember it's not generic, it's not all over the place. You don't see this kind of similar mark. So props to the designer for making a unique logo. I like that and again the type, although it could have been executed better, it is a unique type. They didn't just take and spell out Ninja with a regular type. So those are the pros that I see with this logo. Let's have a look at the logo side by side. And what I like about the new logo is they, they retain the main idea of it, which is this kind of crazy hair, the blue color. What I don't like about it is the type that they chose and then some of the little geometrical things that are happening in the new mark. So let me have a closer look at the new logo mark and give you my thoughts on ways to improve it. If we're just focusing on the mark itself, one issue I have is some of the lines have these geometric straight lines while others have very little bend happening to them. I think what they would have been better off doing is either making them all geometric sharp cut or having a slight bend or curve to all of them. That way we have consistency in the lines. Uh, another issue with this mark itself is just this cut right here. It's way too tiny and it'll, like if you scale it down, it's gonna be lost. Like even down here, like we can hardly see, it just kind of catches your eye, but doesn't really do anything for the logo at all. So what I would have done is just improve the angles here and then made this a little bit larger just so it's more visible and scalable. Now looking at the full composition of the logo, I think the biggest issue people had with this redesign is the logo type itself. They have like this weird, thick, thin letter combination. It's pretty rounded. And I think that the logo type doesn't really match the mark. I see what they're trying to do here. I guess their goal was to make it a little bit more edgy, a little bit more playful so that it's still relatable to, to the younger audience. But I think it could have been executed a lot better. So those are my thoughts on the full logo composition. But I just wanna scroll through this page and look at more of the overall brand and give you my thoughts. So I actually really like the new blue color. I think it's a much better uh, color. It's more vibrant, it's more lively. The other one was a little bit stale, a little bit dark. I love the way that they use this outline. I think it looks awesome the way they scale it. It's a good little element from the brand that you can reuse. Again, the type's a little wonky. This kind of stuff is nothing crazy, nothing that we haven't seen before. Um, just using like hand-drawn elements and highlighting things. I'm not really a fan of the motion stuff happening here, especially this little thing with the random lines. I think that could have been executed a little bit better with a proper kind of motion design. 
Again, the, the new blue color is great. I think the font that they chose works. It's quirky, it's fun, it's exciting. Again, pretty standard branding stuff here, nothing crazy going on, but it is very clean. It is a mix of these accents and then outline elements. This kind of stuff I think could have been executed a little bit better, maybe more color, maybe more bold. It is just heavily relying on these like outlines, this gridded structure where the rest of the branding seems like it's all over the place and less structured. So that could have been executed a little bit better. I like these lines. I like the, the quirkiness of the fonts. I think the contrast with the blue, light blue and the black works well. This poster, I like this kind of stuff. Again, they use like this repeating outline effect, which I think works well. And then some screens moving here. Now that we've gone through the old and the new logo and we've reviewed some of the pros and cons, what I want to do is take a pass at fixing this logo and this type and show you what I would have done. So this is my take on fixing the logo. And the main thing I've done here was just updated the type to something that I felt fit the mark a little better. So we have this sharp type on the right here and all the letters are sharp. I cu I've customized it a little bit. And for the actual logo mark itself, what I've done is just, I removed some of this like barely angled line work here and just made everything sharp and geometric. And I've also removed this little cut. And I think this new mark is the final state of where they were trying to take it. They just didn't simplify it enough. So this would be my redesign, my take. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you like my approach better? Do you like the original? What are your thoughts and feedback? So now to finish this video, let's just rate this rebrand by these metrics. Versatile, simple, appropriate, timeless, memorable. Is it versatile? I think it is versatile. The mark can be used separately from the type. It's simple enough to work in smaller scales. I think it works well with this outline form and in other applications that we've seen across the branding. Is it simple? It is simple besides this little cut, but overall the brand, the mark, the logo, it is pretty simple. And for that, I'm gonna give it a yes. Is it appropriate? I think it is appropriate. Essentially what they've done is instead of targeting just young audience, now they're targeting a wider range. I think since a lot of the audience that watches Ninja Now is a little bit older, I think with this redesign, they're able to reach a broader audience and just target more people. So appropriate, I think, yes. Is it timeless? I would say no. I feel like in a few years, they will update this mark or the type or little elements of the branding can be improved and increased and made a little bit stronger. So for timeless, I'm gonna put no. And is it memorable? Um, the overall brand, I would say no, just because we've seen a lot of this kind of stuff done here and some of the other stuff I've shown you with the outline work with some of the branding material, the billboards. I don't think it's too memorable. It's pretty generic in that sense. But if we're just talking about the logo, I think it is kind of memorable just because of the simplicity of it and the uniqueness of the type. But overall, I'm gonna have to give it a no. 
So this rebrand has scored a three out of five. And honestly, I don't agree with all the people hating on it. I think they're just so used to the old Ninja logo when you introduce a new brand, a new logo, a new look, people instantly hate it. I think over time they will grow to like this new brand just because of the simplicity of it. And it is functioning better as a brand, I would say, in terms of being geared towards the audience and working well. If they just update the logo to what I have here, I think people would love it. If you enjoy these kind of videos and you wanna see more content like it, please drop a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do another brand and what brand that is, and I will see you soon. Cheers.